Welcome and thanks for tuning in. Uh, my name is Dr. Jeff Henderson and I have the good fortune of serving as the principal here at Center Grove High School. Uh, I want to touch base with you and let you know uh, that we are extremely excited for your students to return to the hallways and classrooms, uh, to the playing fields and the performance venues here at Center Grove High School on August the 12th. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing them. It's been a long time since they've been in the building and uh, we can't wait to get them back here, uh, get the excitement back in the building. Um, wanted to update you on the fact that uh, the administrative staff, members of the Teachers Association, uh, district office personnel uh, have been working really hard all summer uh, to put together a comprehensive plan uh, for the safe return of both our students and staff in the fall. Those plans have been developed by looking at both the uh, State Department of Education guidelines as well as information from the CDC, the State Department of Health, and the Johnson County Health Department. And we continue to revise those as new guidance comes out, sometimes on a daily basis. So we will do our best to keep you informed of all of those changes as the year progresses. Uh, just a reminder that one of the very best things that you can do as a family to ensure that you're receiving our communication is to log on to your Skyward Family Access account and ensure that your contact information, telephone numbers, and email addresses are all up to date. Part of our plans include the fact that students will be wearing facial coverings based on the most recent guidance. Uh, the Center Grove Community School Corporation will be providing each student with two cloth face masks um, when they arrive at the start of the school year. Based on the size of our classrooms at the high school um, and the quantity of students in the classrooms, we anticipate that students will be wearing face masks the majority of the time in the building. Um, the exceptions would be uh, per uh, the governor's most recent executive order when they're uh, engaged in strenuous physical activity or when they're eating lunch. Uh, other than that, the majority of the time our students will be wearing face masks throughout the building. In addition this year, uh, one of our additional safety precautions is uh, our high school students are going to be required to wear their student IDs throughout the day. We'll be providing lanyards. They will start the year with an ID with last year's school picture on it, but that will be updated as soon as we take school pictures um, during the school day uh, this fall. In addition to that, the uh, standard drinking portion of the water fountains in the building have been disabled and only the water bottle filling portions of those water fountains will be available. So we suggest that students bring a water bottle from home that they can refill throughout the day. Concerns to try to maintain social distance during the day is obviously during the lunch period and our plan currently includes uh, moving tables from the cafeteria out into the Hall of Excellence to increase the distance between those tables. We are going to ask that students sit at the same table with the same group of students each day at lunch uh, to assist us in the event that contact tracing needs to be performed. And each morning as students prepare to head out to school, um, we ask that uh, you perform a COVID self-check. Information about how to do that is available on our website at www.centergrove.k12.in.us forward slash return 2020. Again, we want to thank you for taking the time to tune in. Uh, I can't tell you how excited the staff is to see your students arrive um, on Wednesday, August the 12th. We really look forward to a successful year, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the future. Go Trojans! Thank <laughs> you.